This is the pre-assembled kit for percutaneous needle tracheostomy, or PNT. It should be made up in advance to make sure the components fit together. The kit should be kept in a, an accessible place in the emergency department. These are the components. A 14 gauge catheter, the adapter from a 3.5 ET tube, a 5 cc syringe, and an extension set made up of six inches of IV tubing with a lure lock attached to a 2.5 ET tube adapter. Once the catheter has been inserted into the trachea and the needle removed, it can be attached to the 3.5 ET tube adapter. The pop-off valve on the bag valve mast needs to be closed because bagging through a lumen as narrow as the catheter creates resistance to flow, requiring pressures greater than 40 centimeters of water to optimize flow. Compare this resistance with that of ventilating through a 3.5 millimeter ET tube. You need to actually connect the catheter yourself to feel the amount of resistance produced so you will not doubt good catheter placement should you ever have to do this procedure yourself. When inserting the catheter into the trachea, enter at the shallowest angle possible. Some clinicians prefer to use a syringe filled with saline attached to the catheter so an air bubble will be seen when the catheter enters the trachea and air escapes, much like the return of blood when starting an IV as an aid to successful placement. One of the complications in the animal studies of this procedure was kinking or obstruction of the catheter when directly attached to a bag valve mass. This can be avoided by interposing an extension set made up of six inches of IV tubing with a lure lock attached to a 2.5 ET tube adapter. This will allow more freedom of movement with the bag valve mass without the danger of kinking the catheter. An alternative to ventilating with a bag valve mass is to connect the catheter to oxygen tubing which in turn is attached to an oxygen outlet and then administer a preset flow rate of oxygen. This is the Inc. Oxygen Flow Modulator, a commercial product designed for this purpose. The Inc. Modulator connects to the standard oxygen outlet. The outlet apparatus, commonly referred to as the Christmas tree, reduces the pressure from 50 PSI to a very low PSI. At this low PSI, flow can still be adjusted with a valve from 1 to 15 liters of flow per minute. The flow rates necessary are related to patient size. Approximately 1 liter per age should be administered so a two-year-old would require two liters. The flow of oxygen is controlled by covering and uncovering the holes in the tubing and observing chest excursion. Although it was originally designed so that differential flow rates could be produced by covering one or more holes in fashion, a study of the actual flow generated with the apparatus concluded that covering and uncovering all the holes at one time versus differentially did not make a significant difference and therefore recommended covering and uncovering all the holes at the same time. Note the filling and emptying of the balloon when the holes are covered and uncovered. If you choose this option for your rescue procedure, you should open up the kit and practice with it so you can become familiar with it and its contents and how to use them in an emergency. This is the jet ventilator. It attaches directly to the wall, directly to 50 PSI. We do not recommend using it for ventilation in children. The excessively high pressures are not needed and the flow rates produced by this apparatus are extremely dangerous, easily causing barotrauma. It would be like trying to water your lawn with a fire hose. A lot of bad things could happen.